everyone, this is Amber and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video, I am working on a project that I seriously absolutely love and I really want to make a bunch more of these. So these are going to be mini folk art journals and I absolutely love artsy folk art images and I'm so excited to show you what I made and we're also going to make one here together on camera. What I'm using to make the cute little journals is this beautiful stamp and die set. So I'm actually partnering with Coco and Reno together with PeachyCheap.com and I'm so excited to be partnering with them in this video. This is like my dream stamp and die set. I love it so much. I'm loving using my cuddle bug lately and so let me show you what you get. So this is actually on sale right now um, in the month of March. And so I'm going to link this below so you can go over and get this exact set. It comes with this really cute and like vintage style um, cloth little sack here. And of course you get the beautiful plastic case that you can use for other things as well. But in here you get two gorgeous stamp sets and so these are the spring folk art stamp sets and I love the little fox and this bird right here oh my gosh I love all the images they're so pretty so I really love the stamps and then you get this entire set of dies so let me show you what they look like so many dies and they're like cute shapes there's flowers and little ferns and there's even like a border strip right here. All these cute spring animals. And they're very, very folk artsy. So I love all the images so much. So there's all the dyes. So let me bring this little white page in. I actually cut them out as well. So look at like the chicken. Isn't that so pretty? Or the bird or whatever that is. And then this. And the little rabbit in the fox because of course I cut this out with some paper my very favorite paper collection of all time it's called wildflower um, by American crafts I think so here are some of the flowers I cut these out with some of that like tribal print paper so pretty so this is just to kind of show you what they look like with the pattern paper but just wait until you see what we're going to do with these amazing dies in this project. So easy. But aren't they so gorgeous? I love, love, love these dies. So let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. Okay, you guys. So this is what we're going to be making with those beautiful dies. So as you can see, these dies turn to gold, right? No, I didn't use gold paper. I didn't use gold foil paper. I'll show you what I did. It is so, so, so easy. Um, but first, let me tell you what I used to make these. So there's that rabbit one, and it says bloom. And here's this butterfly one. And it says fly. And then the fox one says dream. So first of all, the journals. Let me show you these journals. So I got a pack of six of these journals from Amazon. And yes, you can make your own. Um, I just love buying these from Amazon. They're not like the best, best price, but they're very decent priced. So I'm going to link these exact ones below. You can get them in any quantity. I got the six. So you can also get lined paper or blank paper. And I like that it's like a cream color and I wanted it to be blank. So that way it can use this as like a notebook or an art journal. And they're sewed down the middle. So yes, it's very easy to make these. I've made tons of these on my channel, so I'll try to link some of those tutorials below. But these are so handy to have. You can get them in any size with the craft paper and the cream inside um, from Amazon. So I'll link these below if you're interested. So I used that. And then, of course, I used my most favorite paper pad of all time. This is the 6x6 pad, and it's called Wildflower. So I just used some of the pattern paper out of here, and this is the most gorgeous paper pad ever. So pretty. Um, so this is 
the paper pad that I used for the background. And then I just used some book paper that I of a book that I got from Dollar Tree and I just ripped it apart. And I used some Distress Ink to age the edges. And so I'm using Rusty Hinge and just this little Distress tool. So I can link this below as well if you like the color. It's kind of like a rusty color. It's exactly what it says, rusty hinge. It looks like a rust color. So I loved using that and it just kind of gives like a nice antique look to it. So let me first show you how to create this beautiful gold embellishment piece. So I've just brought in this like scrap piece of paper and I cut this cute little chicken out from the die set. And this is what we're going to do. So the first thing you're going to need is some pigment ink. I love to use the Versamark Watermark Stamp ink. Okay, so what this does is it gets this all coated with the Watermark ink. So that way anything you put on it will stick to it, okay? So that's why I wanted to use that scratch paper. So now I'm going to move this out of my way. So I'm going to bring in this little scratch paper now. So now this has all the pigment ink on it. So I'm going to bring in some gold embossing powder. So this is by Inka Dinka Do. It's not that expensive. I think I got mine like at Marshalls or something. So I'm going to link this below. And if I can't find this one, I'll link a very similar one below. But what you're going to do is just cover this entire thing with embossing powder. Make sure you don't leave any white parts. So then carefully lift this up and you don't want to get your fingers on the top of it because you don't want to wipe any of that embossing powder off with your fingers. So just try to kind of grasp it in a way that you can shake the excess off. So there it is. So set this aside. So that's why you just want to put some paper down so you can make like a little funnel and just pour it back in. Okay, so now you've got this covered with gold embossing powder, and this is like the coolest thing ever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom way in for this so you can see the magic. So I'm using my heat tool, and it's this one right here. It's not that expensive. It's a great tool to have in your craft room for many reasons, and I, my favorite is for embossing. So we've got the embossing powder on here. Now, try to hold this in a little spot with like your scissors or something or tweezers so it doesn't move. But you're gonna start in and it's gonna turn to this shiny gold. Isn't that awesome how that works? So isn't that so amazing how you can turn that into a gold embellishment? So shiny and beautiful. So now you just want to set this aside to completely dry. So don't touch it right away. You want to set it aside to completely dry. So now we're going to get our journal ready. So I'm going to choose the page that I want to use here. And I think I'm going to use my absolute favorite page, which is this blue one. Where is it? This one right here. It's like a navy blue with gorgeous flowers on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of approximately rip down a size to go on the front here. So. I'm just going to literally go in and start ripping my paper until I have the shape and size that I want. And the more imperfect it is, the better. I think that's pretty, pretty good. So I love how that looks and then I just want to ink the edges with my Rusty Hinge Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. So I'm just going to go in with this and ink all those edges. It just gives it a nice distressed look. So then I just need to grab some of my book paper and then just start ripping the paper. I think that looks pretty good. 
and it can go right there in the middle. So I'm going to ink my edges as well on this. Okay, so, so now I'm just going to glue these down to the journal. Okay, so we've got this cute little book here. So now we're going to add our beautiful gold embellishment. And with this, I'm going to use as much ATG as I can on here in the spots that are solid. Be very careful with these delicate pieces, though, because the ATG gun could lift this up and rip it. And you don't want that. If you have any small pieces, you could use wet glue, like the Tombow Mono um, liquid glue, or like art glitter glue, or something like that. But I'm able to use my ATG gun on this piece. So then you just kind of stick that down and press it down, and we're almost done. That could be done right there. I mean, that's super gorgeous. It's really artsy, and anybody would love this as a cute journal or notebook. But I had this, like, old sticker set, and it's like an alpha sticker set but that I had from a Maggie Holmes collection, and it was kind of falling apart, and I was just going to throw it away. But I figured I could use this to make the cute words, and that's what I used here in bloom and fly. So I thought we would do one on here as well. And these don't stick very well, so what I do is I lay down ATG where I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to do this one on the bottom down here, and I think I'm going to do Wander. So I'm just going to lay down a strip, two strips of ATG to do the word Wander. Okay, so now what I do is I take this Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue, and this isn't very good for sticking like paper to paper, but to seal this down and just give it a little extra security, I like to just take it lightly around the stickers and then a couple swipes across the top, and then I just like fill it in with my finger. And that just gives it, it kind of seals that in because these stickers are not sticky at all. And so I did it, I helped it with the ATG gun and then with that. So now our beautiful journal is all finished. I love these so much. They're so me. And those die cuts are just absolutely gorgeous. I love the folk art. So I think I'm going to call that good with these, um, but if you were giving this as like a gift or something, or if you um, were going to sell these at your craft fair, you could totally use these stamps and do like an image. I love this so much when people do like a stamped image, like on the corner of like every five pages or something, that would even take this to a whole nother beautiful artsy level. So. I just wanted to kind of show you what I was doing with these and how I was using the die cuts and how I would definitely use the stamps as well. Please go and check out Coco and Reno's website. They have so many amazing products. So I have this gorgeous set from Coco and Reno linked below and I'll also link below all the other products that I used. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.